Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, as always. I return to source. I return to center. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the appearance of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, so we have someone that may be freeing themselves from some type of toxic situation. Um, this could be like a Sagittarius. Um, there's a masculine energy that is freeing himself from possibly a queen of pentacles, queen of wands kind of energy, or just some type of institution, some type of commitment he's been in. This could be like a work situation, work partnership. Maybe these two or these people had some type of work relationship together. And maybe it turned out that there was some type of false pretenses going on. Uh, it may, there may have been some type of betrayal that took place because I've been picking up on a masculine as well as a feminine possibly like a queen of wands queen of pentacles that has been playing him is that she's with him for his money his finances but then she's in a relationship with like a queen king of swords but then she has like other options out there so this is a woman that likes to have options or it could be like the sagittarius himself maybe he's someone that likes to have options i'm not sure what this is but it just seems like a commitment is over and it has something to do with these people working together now that he knows the truth he is relieving uh, freeing himself from this situation someone has been stuck in their head a lot for a long time and this is because there was some type of manipulation going on it's almost as though his lover and her lover were playing him and he didn't realize that they were playing him this whole time um this was something that was orchestrated by the way uh sagittarius is what i'm picking up this was absolutely something that was uh, uh, orchestrated and I keep picking up on a queen of pentacles as well. Listen, I said Sagittarius. I looked down and the temperance card is at the bottom. The temperance card in the zodiac sign is associated with the Sagittarius zodiac sign. So you could be a Sagittarius that's going through this or it doesn't have to be. You could be like a a king of pentacles which will explain why this started we should be part of the reason why this started off with a king uh, the eight of pentacles in the reverse excuse me you all were either working together and you established some type of business and personal relationship um or you have some type of business relationship i don't know if you made some type of business agreement with these people you all were working together i don't know what the specifics are but i do know that there's some type of commitment that has ended if you were being com uh lawyer to someone and then you're finding out that they're not lawyer to you this is what's taking place and maybe you've been trapped in your mind for a long time and i think the reason why you've been trapped in your mind for a long time is because you've been rejecting the truth or some type of a uh, message or some type of reality that has been presented to you for a long time it's almost as though like either your ancestors the universe or someone around you something has been telling you to look deeper into a connection a commitment a contract you have with you have with a person place or thing and you were refusing to look at that because you are in denial you were just like oh no I don't think so. She would never. He would never. There's no way they're working together against me. Uh, that's not. You know, you you kind of just dismissed something, or this is what you've been doing, and now the truth has come out. You are absolutely a king of pentacles, going through some type of heartbreak because you got into a relationship with someone that likes to have options. Now you must. You may be going through some type of remorse because I think you may want to connect with someone that's intuitively. I don't know what this is and I don't know if this is like a practitioner or this is just someone that's very gifted. I don't know if it's your if 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 it's that you want to connect with a high priestess or that you went to a high priestess and they told you the truth about this betrayal in this union you had with someone uh you may have also went up against a queen of cups or maybe you've been watch yeah you betrayed someone uh 
you betray someone. You may have betrayed a like queen of cups in the past. Um, maybe you saw someone as wish fulfillment, but maybe they weren't exactly your type. Um, and so you rejected them and you may have done something that was very uh, disingenuous when it comes to this person. And now you're having to learn some type of really hard lesson because it's that you had a karmic and somewhat genuine and you went with the karmic, not knowing that the karmic was being orchestrated with how they were in your energy. There could be something about thievery. I don't know if this woman stole from you. Um, I don't know what it is, but this is what I'm picking up on. There is absolutely something about you wanting to be with an energy that is gifted, a healer. So you may want to establish some type of partnership with this woman um, or this masculine. I don't know what this is. This could be like a same-sex relationship. This could be a heterosexual relationship. But now you're yeah, queen of wands. I did say queen of pentacles or queen of wands. You're finding the truth out about a queen of wands okay this is someone that likes to self-sabotage meaning this is someone that likes to have options this is not someone that's uh exclusive this is someone also that's into both genders this is someone that i, I picked up on the fact that a woman may have some type of vendetta against another woman that she's stalking online but then she uh does things to this woman's picture as far as like self-pleasure and th pleasures and things like that there's a woman that does this a lot. Like she is staring at someone's picture and pleasing herself. This is also someone that does some type of voodoo. Now, the thing is like the person that you are interested in is a queen of cups, queen of wands energy. This is like a, a emperor. So she embodies all four queens in the deck and is a high priestess as well. Um, but uh, but the woman that you are with, maybe you find her to be very beautiful, which is a good thing. But you're finding the truth out about this woman, and which is why you're wanting to free yourself from her. This woman likes to have options. Is what I keep, keep being told is that she likes to have options. At this point, there's really nothing you can do to fix this situation with this woman because this is who she is. Um, if you bring it to her attention or if you have brought it to her attention, what she does or what she's going to do is just pretend like she's not doing that anymore. She's going to put on a show for you. Okay. Um, so this woman, I'm telling, listen, I said, I told you she likes to have options, right? A sister likes to have options out here, both men and women. It's not just one. She likes to have options and there's nothing wrong with that uh, if it makes her happy. But the thing is that people need to be upfront with their habits, especially when it comes to explicit activities. You need to be straightforward with people and let them know, hey, I go both ways or I like to have options. I don't want to be exclusive, blah, 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 blah. Just be straightforward with people. You never know. Someone may say, oh, okay, me too. <laughs> not, not, not me. I don't, if, you, if you're someone that's watching me and you're coming towards me, I, I don't like to have options. I'm a one man kind of girl. Okay. I don't got time for none of that extra stuff. Um, but this, but this one here, there's something about being honest is not her forte. Someone does not know how to be honest, does not care about being honest. There's something where it's like she and a queen, king of swords, may have orchestrated something where they were in your energy for your money. So, so if you were giving this woman money, she was possibly lavishing her lover with it, uh, living the good life, living the la vida loca and things like that. This is absolutely a woman that just, and it just keeps, I keep being told she likes to have options. So this is someone that's very wild and out there. And maybe you're not even, you're not aware of how out there this woman is. I don't know if you made some type of marriage proposal to this woman. You were planning on marrying her. Or if you are planning on marrying her, you may want to look into things a little bit more before you decide to walk down the aisle with this woman because if you do it's going to be a nightmare for you it's going to backfire horribly so you may want to look into it this woman is also intimidated by someone and i mentioned that she's watching someone online she's intimidated by that woman you may want to go in to fight someone i don't know what the heck this is nobody has time for this kind of nonsense anymore we're all too grown out here um, this is the person she's watching is not even someone that is in you as environment. You and this person she's talking because she thinks that you're interested in someone else. You don't have any type of communications with that person. She doesn't have any communications with that person. So the both of you may be watching a feminine energy or listening to a feminine energy online. Who is a queen of pentacles? I believe 
And I think part of the reason why you got with this woman is because you thought someone was business savvy. You thought someone was good at managing money. You thought there's something you thought about this woman. There's also someone in your energy, a masculine energy. I don't know that you trust. Maybe you've known for a long time, but there's something going on between those two that you need to uh, look into before you walk down the aisle with this woman. You may want to think twice. There's something I think you may have or you are going to leave her out in the cold due to some type of truth being exposed to you. And it's going to cause some type of tower to her. This woman was trying to take some type of action to go to someone's home, someone's community to cause them a tower, maybe possibly interfere with a queen of pentacles work, their manifestation so that they could be trapped in some type of fear, not being able to move on, being afraid of the next steps and things like that to do. This is someone very karmic. This is someone, I don't know like the word to even express how karmic this woman is, but someone is unhinged has been stalking another person, watching them. I don't, like someone goes to practitioner. So she's doing some type of remote viewing where she's like stalking a woman, both spiritually and physically. Um, there's some, there's something eerie. I don't know. There's something eerie about whoever this is you are with, but it, with the eight of pentacles and the eight of swords in the reverse, I think you have this continuum your relationship or your connection with this queen of wands and i feel like this is a queen of wands reverse because the word reverse was about to come out of my mouth so i don't think the both of you are together anymore because there's some type of truth that has been illuminated now that the truth is out and you know exactly what is going on, hopefully you are accepting the truth for what it is instead of pretending like it's not there because your mindset, this is something I'm getting from you. It's like the truth will be smack dab in your face and you'll still act like you don't see it and you're a bit of a procrastinator as well. You tend to make excuses and say that, oh, it's because I have to think about things. I get stuck in my mind. No, you're a procrastinator. There's nothing wrong with thinking before you move because that's how we're all supposed to be. But what you do is you think about stuff and then you put it off and that's not how we're supposed to be. You're supposed to think of things, come up with solutions and then take actions. But you tend to put things off until the very last minute, until it's too late. And then you want to sit back and Whoa, it's me. Nobody has time for their nonsense. So I don't know how long it has taken you with this eight of swords here in the reverse and this eight of pentacles in the reverse. You've been stuck in some type of karmic cycle with a queen of wands reverse for a long, long, long time. And this woman has been doing things behind the scenes to block you from receiving the truth or seeing the truth, hearing the truth. But there's something that has enable you to find out the truth about her and how reckless she is. I'm telling you, a sister likes to have options out here, men and women. It's not just one gender. And again, as I said, there's nothing wrong with being, you know, going both ways. If that's what makes you happy, but be upfront, be genuine about it. Tell people what it is that you are into. Don't hide that stuff. And then trying to have a commitment with someone. I think this chapter is absolutely over and there's balance being brought into this situation you are going through some type of karma but this is like some type of good karma because even though you are heartbroken that this is over yeah you're heartbroken that this is over but this is going to lead you to get into some type, some type of new connection with someone and you're going to probably have to tell them how it is you betrayed them in the past or i don't know what what it is maybe you have something that you you need to get off of your mind Maybe people around you have been trying to tell you about this woman and you just haven't been listening. So you have no one to blame but yourself. You got to accept accountability for the things that you do or the things you refu refuse to do, especially when it comes to accepting the truth uh, with your life. Yeah, you are someone that's a thinker. You think, 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 but you don't take no action. It's like someone tells you, hey, she's trying to steal from you. And then you sit back and say, no, I don't think she's trying to steal from me. And when I get home tonight, I'll look into it. And then you get home, you sit down on your couch, you think about it, think about it, but you don't do nothing. And then lo and behold, she steals from you. And then you want to be out here crying wolf. It's like, why are you crying wolf? All that time you were taking and thinking about stuff, you could have, yeah, you could have, uh, resolve that issue or prevented that issue from happening. So, uh, you may be wanting to step out here on faith, take some type of risk with someone else, but just know that this queen of wands that you've been with, a sister is a nightmare. A sister has obligations 
to a lot of people out here and it's not com it's non-committal it's just that people know the people around her they know okay they know that this woman likes to have options she's absolutely impulsive she will take any type of action she may want to go seek counseling some type of advice because this woman may end up going to jail for something i keep getting that in my readings about a queen of wands she, I'm telling you, a sister is very karmic, toxic, hopeless. This is how she likes to be. You can't save this woman. Um, I don't know if it's the beauty that you're stuck on, but there's nothing else beneath that. There's nothing below the surface. That is just it. It's just beautiful to look at. Empty vessel. Don't care about you. Nothing. Don't care about you at all. At all. Okay. Maybe this is the woman that I saw in my dream saying that she didn't care about who it is she was with. I'm telling you, there she goes to go pick a fight trying to defeat someone. <laughs> someone that's not paying her no mind, okay? Someone that's not paying her no mind. And I don't know if you know what it is she's planning on doing. Maybe trying to attack someone with her friends, whatever this is, honey. I don't know. This is little girl stuff all for, for a man. I'm telling you. Okay, she's going to have to walk away. It says someone is trying to prevent you from walking away, but they don't know that the actions they're taking is what led to you walking away. Like, you have discontinued your commitment with this person. Like, you have tried to make it work with a feminine energy, but they just don't get it. There's something about this woman's mindset that is bothersome because it's so insecure. Someone is like, their mental is gone. Someone may be borderline, like, I don't know, like, medically, she's not the, up to par. There's something wrong with this woman's mental. And then she has the audacity to be a narcissist trying to stop you from moving forward because she knows once you leave, her chances of living a good life at the detriment of someone else is over because this is a leech. This isn't someone that brings anything to the table, but it looks like you're still leaving. You're still leaving to have a new beginning somewhere else. You want to be in a relationship with rep reciprocity. You're like, I don't want, you're not stuck in your mind anymore. I'm telling you, you're moving on. You've already left. Instead of being stuck in your mind, trying to figure out, is she committal? Is she loyal? Blah, blah, blah. You've been loyal to someone that ain't loyal to you. You've been loyal to someone that the word loyalty is not even part of their vocabulary. Okay, it's something that's situational. She's selective on when to be loyal. That is when you're giving her that your ching. If she has something to gain or garner from you, yes, yeah, then she's loyal for that moment, momentary loyalty. But once she has nothing to gain from you, it ain't no loyalty with this sister. Okay, so instead of you being in your mind now with this eight of swords in the reverse, it looks like you've put in some type of action with your plans. Like you're moving on to have some type of, I'm telling you, victory. I split the deck and it went into, it went, it, it, it split on the victory card. So you're going to have victory with someone, whoever you're going to. I don't know what you have on your chest to confess. Or maybe you're worried that by the time you come towards them, they're going to be in a relationship with someone else because maybe you're aware that someone else is interested in a queen of cups and they're going to be moving on to have some type of brand new passionate beginning that's going to be very abundant. I think that's what you are worried about is that someone else having a chance with this woman. So um, the victory car keeps coming out. So maybe you're going to take some type of quick action to talk to someone, whoever this is. I don't know. But just know that that queen of wands is up to something, okay? Oh, yeah, this came out in the reverse. So she couldn't end you. Maybe she was plotting with someone else on how to end you before you take some type of action to come towards another woman. Um, and the person that she's been sleeping with, they are in on it as well because the both of them benefit from you and her being together because you're their, their couch, cash cushion, correct? So if you're not around anymore to give her money, they don't, they don't have that option to live the good life. It's that they want to be able to sit back and keep enjoying the good life with no effort. It's that you he, he keep sleeping with him, keep acting like you love him, keep pretending like you give two Fs about him, that it is what it is, and then keep bringing the money home, okay? And he knows, too, that she likes to have options. They've had this system going on for a long time. You're the only one in this scenario that don't know what it is these people do. 
the friends around them, the family around them, they all know. Heck, the king of swords that she's sleeping with could even be married. They don't care. They don't care. You are the only one, sir, that does not know that these people do this. You're the only one that's out here burdened, way down, feeling sick and disgusted, living in fear that something you want that it, it, that it's not coming into being. That you put something to an end with another woman, a queen of cups, when that's the route you should have taken. But this karmic cycle with this queen of wands is over. If you are doing what it is you need to do, taking the right action, and which it looks like you are, you may want to communicate. Yeah, you want to communicate with a queen of wands, queen of cups. So that you two can still earn the calmer waters, you may want to give to this person or build with this person. Because what I'm picking up about the Queen of Cups that you are interested in, interested in, this is not someone that likes to have their hand out. They like to work for everything because there's something about like a uh, um like sentimental value or being able to look. I guess she's kind of like myself. Like so, for example, from what I'm picking up on this Queen of Cups, correct? Like. This is someone like myself. We like to put our effort into the things that matter to us. So we don't like a lot of handouts, a lot of free stuff. Because we like to be able to look back at life and say, dang, I really worked hard and really did it and became successful. I actually accomplished something that I put my mind to. When you have too many handouts being given to you, there's not really much of a sentimental value to anything in life because then you get accustomed also to people giving you stuff and it makes you dependent, like core dependent on other people. So when th this Queen of Cups I'm picking up on, this is someone that likes to work for what it is that they have in life. They don't want just handouts here, handouts there. They like to actually, like there's some, this woman like, I like her mind. Like someone likes to work. They like to put in effort. They like to commit themselves to their like dreams. And like someone does not like handouts. They like to work for what it is they want in life. Basically quite the opposite of this queen of wands that I'm picking up on. Quite the opposite. Okay. You may be finding the truth out about some type of betrayal maybe someone told you that a queen of cups did something to you in the past so maybe you two are you all are familiar with one another maybe you all worked together before with us starting out with the eight of pentacles in the reverse maybe you all worked together before and the queen of cups is not around you anymore maybe now you're the one that's about to leave this work environment or something like that i'm not sure what the specifics are but all i know is the difference between these two yeah, they're both beautiful, but this woman here, all she cares about is her beauty. She don't bring nothing to the table. This is why, this is part of the reason why she's out here trying to fight people, trying to force people to take a different route. She say, hey, that's my man, blah, 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 blah. If I can't have him, you can't have him. Someone is crazy out here. You may want to be careful, okay? It says she wants you to give her an offer, but you already know the truth. Like you already know the truth that this woman has been collaborating with people behind the scenes to block you from being able to move forward, but you're standing your ground and have made some type of decision to take your offer somewhere else. And you are like, you're staying calm and just, you have everything planned out. Like I said, this queen of wands may have something, some type of legal issues coming in. Maybe you, maybe you also think like justice or karma in this situation is you investing into a queen of cups. I don't know, life, business, whatever this is. Um, but I don't think that woman, whoever the Queen of Cups is, is sitting around like waiting for anyone to come towards her, whether it's to invest in her or to fight or any. I don't think this is someone that's paying you all any mind. And that's the thing about it. Like this Queen of Queen of Wands is very like she's very focused on someone that's not focused on her. I wouldn't be surprised if she's if she's not even aware of what's going on in the background because someone is solely focused on their environment, like what's going on in their life. But this Queen of Wands here, this is her. She may be sneaking to do something and it's going to lead to disappointment, heartbreak. This is possibly something she did as well in the past. And it's going to be disappointing because maybe she's coming into your energy to try to coerce you or 
seduce you into getting back into some type of karmic uh, cycle with her and you are rejecting her because you as the wealthy man has made a decision right to move on with your life and leave this karmic cycle out in the cold to communicate it came out again to communicate with this queen of cups so that something can be brought to an end there's a woman here that's been pretending like she is no longer karmic, but the woman is karmic. She's way down and burdened. Someone may have some type of mental illness. Someone drinks a lot as well. She may want to go get checked out or something, some type of health checkup. Like someone drinks a lot, but she's way down and burdened because this relationship with you and her, I think you've made it clear that it's over and you're going somewhere else. Uh, and maybe she, she feels like she knows who it is you're going to, the Queen of Cups. So she may want to take some type of action to go in and attack that Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, she's trying. Yeah! Absolutely. She's trying to pay to have some type of type of tower cause in the Queen of Cups life. She said, oh, he's going where? He's going to get to her? No, he's not giving to her. I'm going to end her before before uh, he gets to her or I'm going to end him before he gets to her. Like she said, ain't no way I'm about to live and see these two together after everything I've done behind the scenes to block them from coming together. This is what's happening. So she's paying for some type of tower to take place, but it's going to backfire horribly. I don't think this woman realizes like how bad something is about to backfire. Something is it's like, she's about to be out here burning, may end up going to jail for a long time, long time for a long time. I'm telling you about to be out here hanging in limbo. Oh, baby. You see that? The wheel of fortune in the reverse. Baby, whatever this woman is planning on doing, she may not want to do it. You may not want to do it. May not want to do it because it ain't going to end well. There ain't, like, she's trying to make sure that you and someone do not get together. But it's a yes from the universe. You two will be getting together. You two may end up starting some businesses together, multiple streams of incomes and things like that. It will be successful. But this woman is trying to make sure she causes a tower in between before you or between you and this woman getting together. You and the Queen of Cups. She said over my dead body or these two going to come together. Because she's, she's gotten used to living that good life. I don't know what you've been giving. to. You must have been giving her a lot of money. Maybe you want to even pay her to move on. But there's something here about a king of swords and this woman. They've been together. They've been together. <clears throat> like she knows this cycle is over. It's over because you said you're going on to some. Like you want to go collaborate with someone else. So this could be some, something that starts off as working together. I'm telling you, baby. It ain't going the way she thinks it is. Like she's taking some type of action to come towards you to manipulate you. This is someone that thinks she's better than everybody. Hey, look at me. I have the Gucci bag. But how did you get the Gucci bag? Laying on your back? Or uh, using men to secure the bag so you can get the bag? Yeah. This is someone that thinks she's better than everybody. But it's a rejection. She thinks she's coming towards you and she's going to do something or she's coming towards a feminine energy to do something that's going to lead to victory. It ain't leading to no victory. It's a disappointment for her. It's, we got the four of, listen, we got the four of, of cups out here. Disappointment. It's not going to be victorious. Like this is the end of the road for this woman. I don't know what the heck this is. Some, some people are there. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Her sister's out here way down, burning, exhausted, tired, overworking herself to take somebody down. And it's like, no, baby girl, that ain't what's happening. She, there's something about this woman's mental is, I'm telling you, her mental is not where it's supposed to be. Someone is living in fear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She don't came into someone's energy, this masculine's energy, trying to get him to remember how good all the good times they used to have. They remember this, you miss this. And he said, I don't have no good memories. I don't want to be around you. I can't even look at you right now. You need to, man. This man does not have any good memories of this woman. He is done. He is done. 
dang and she's still out here trying to force the narrative that <laughs> that she's changed she's healed she's exclusive no she's not that is all a speech that she's giving you i'm telling you this woman is in distress behind the scenes because you're having this brand new passionate beginning somewhere like you're giving your offer to someone else or you're starting over new a sister is in distress and it don't matter if she even tries to change she'll be she'll be good for three weeks and she'll go right back to her old ways right back to her old ways yeah you have made your decision to give to someone else dang she is burdened what in the world there's something where also this woman could be paying a practitioner to have you have the woman that you're going towards to think very negatively of you. Is that she wants you to be rejected when you go to that woman? So she may be doing some type of ritual to bring up like a, a, a some type of bad memory, play with someone's mental, make them afraid of you, make them reject you. It's a whole lot someone is doing behind the scenes. And then on top of that, she's like pleasing herself to someone's picture. So then if that, if it works, that woman, when you go into that woman, she can say, Oh, I don't like women. I don't like men anymore. I like women or something like that. Like this woman, she, this is a crazy energy, crazy energy. I can't. <laughs> so uh, that's a big yes from the universe <laughs> so someone is just supposed to wake up one day they've been they've been straight their whole life and then all of a sudden tomorrow they wake up oh i don't like uh men's no more i like women today something like that girl i'm done i'm done <laughs> you need to heal <laughs> you need to heal there's some type of action this woman is gonna take and it's gonna help you baby <laughs> start over brand new i said uh yeah i'm good linda i'm good i'm gonna go elsewhere <laughs> i know the truth now yeah i'm gonna go up i'm gonna go uh have closure with that queen of cups and start over man you got me after <laughs> i can't believe you do this to me i trusted you i trusted you i don't know if you keep saying that to her there's something here about loyalty You've been loyal to the wrong, yeah, you've been loyal to the wrong people the whole time. You didn't know the truth. You didn't know the truth. She said, when you, when they come together, I want her to be angry. I want her to be pissed up. Now, when he comes, this is this woman's energy. <laughs> She's going to be like, hey, sir, how you doing? Long time no see. <laughs> How's the family doing? How's the kids doing? Whatever this is. <laughs> Hey, hey there. What you doing over here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, he's going to be like, dang, can I talk to you? Yeah, it's a big yes from the universe, sir. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Where? Listen. You see that right there? It's a big yes from the universe. Now that you know the truth and want to take your offer elsewhere. This is like a gift. Whatever this relationship is that you're going to be having with this Queen of Cups energy. This is a gift to you from the universe. And this is a gift to her as well from the universe. And this will be you, uh, both of you, new beginning together in love. Like actual love, love, true love. Not this nonsense where you're telling people that you're committed to them. You're taking an oath or made some type of agreement with them. And then you go uh, behind the scenes to go have options and you're sneaking around. Having all, yeah, I'm telling you, having all kinds of options out here. Just talking to any and everybody. You and the person you're about to communicate with are going to have multiple streams of incomes in life. Very successful and abundant in life. Why this queen of wands is still going to be out here with a lot of options when it comes to lovers. Uh, and baby, this chapter with you and her is over. O-V-E-R-A. <laughs> over. And it will be successful between you and the, and the queen of cups. This is your, I'm telling you, this queen of cups is stepping out on faith as well. So if like, someone is doing some type of ritual behind the scenes for this queen of cups to close her heart to love, it ain't happening. Like someone does not care about any of that. Like, like this is the kind of woman that'll go to a practitioner and say, I want her to be close off to him. Don't let her say yes to him. Let her be very hateful and disrespectful towards him because this is immaturity at its best. 
th these kind of creatures, baby, it is <laughs> hopelessness. I, I don't want her be smiling. I don't want her being approachable. Make her be like standoffish and really mean and stuff like that. Uh, just uh, tear her, have her be like, I know what you did to me behind the scenes. I know you've been doing this and doing, baby, it ain't going to be none of that. That queen of cups don't put an end to this cycle and been living that good life out here. Okay. So when that man comes towards that queen of cups, guess what? She's going to be like, hi, sir. How you doing? <laughs> Long time no see. What you doing over here? You in the wrong neck of the woods, ain't you? <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> it will be successful, sir. This is a whole empress. You will be committed to this woman. Listen, listen. It's a whole yes, yes, yes from the universe. A whole yes. A whole yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, ma'am. Whatever this was, I don't know if you guys was gonna get married, but this is this is uh, whether you got married, about to get married, is O V E R I over. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.